What is going on guys? This is Benny. Hopefully you all are doing well. Today I'm going to be going over the best tips for the new Ram Rider Challenge. What I have seen up through playing the matches. Hopefully I get the 15 wins here and I've only had to use one reset. So I've played a lot of matches and hopefully we get the Ram Rider out of this chest. That would be nice. We did. Okay, so off our first legendary chest, we got one Ram Rider. Off our second one, we got another one. So hopefully we can get off of our last legendary chest another Ram Rider. So that puts us up to three. So we're doing good. Plus, I have to start unlocking the Mega Lightning chest as well. Actually, I'll do all of these. Well, I can only do one at a time. So I guess we'll do the Mega Lightning chest because I'll do a gemming video here soon. But hopefully you guys have been enjoying the challenge and everything. And plus, I still have these special offers for when I do. Well, I already have the Ram Rider unlocked. But that I'll, I'll save that for the gemming video. So stay tuned for that. But basically, the Ram Rider is a very good card like for tower damage. But I would say once people know how to play against her, it kind of falls off. So usually with the Ram Rider... You want to drop a troop kind of near your tower right where she's going to go because she's always going for towers but she has her little her little stunner her snare which basically stops your troop from moving so basically if it's not a ranged character it's not going to hit her so if you're dropping a melee troop i would say throw it down in front of your tower where she's going to go the other things that i've noticed in this challenge i'll just get into match here is there's a lot of lava loon and pekka like those two seem to be the choices come up like either you take the lava hound or you take the pekka I would say majority of the time I find myself taking the P.E.K.K.A. and giving away the Lava Hound. But that depends on if you have like a lot of air troops. And in general, just obviously pick the better cards for the draft. You Sometimes, I will say, if you want to, you kind of want to keep like a faster cycle for the Ram Rider. Because you still kind of, if you have a good cycle with her, she's going to be very tough to stop. And do not be afraid to use her on defense as well. I mean, you don't have to drop her right in front of like a heavy hitter. You kind of maybe want to drop her in the back and let her use like her snare and stuff. Because watch, she's going to stop that barbarian and they're not even going to hit her. So <laughs> it's crazy. Like it happened to me one time where I wasn't really paying attention. And I threw my prince to the side and the ram rider was coming up. The prince was just out of range and it literally stood there and did not hit the ram rider at all until she died by the tower. So a little frustrating. So make sure you drop those melee troops right on top of the ram rider. Majority of the time, I am finding myself wanting to have the Ram Rider and picking her and then giving away like the other card. I, it obviously depends on what it is, but majority of the time, I would say you want to take the Ram Rider. She is very, very solid and very, very good. Uh, do I go one with a... Hmm. I got to wait for these Barbarians to go. The other the option is do I throw on a defensive mortar? I don't really know. So I guess we'll throw on Skeleton Army. Do I lightning this? Is it worth? Is it worth it, guys? For the chip damage? Having to deal with four barbarians now? Oh, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So I'm going to have to defend this. I'm going to have to use my rascals. I probably should play a defensive mortar when he has his uh, his barbarian hut up because he's getting he's getting decent value with them. and I'm, I'm having a tough time pushing through, but hey, we're doing okay so far. Yes, we took a little bit of tower damage. We're going in, we're, we're struggling, but I don't know. Hopefully you guys did well on the challenge. Did you majority of the time take her? How far did you guys get in it? Hopefully you did unlock it. One thing to note as well, if you did get 15 wins on this channel, uh, on this challenge, you may notice that it doesn't show up for your profile. And that is because this is like a special challenge where if you get all losses, basically you can purchase a, you use 100 gems to restart the challenge. Which I think, if you were close to like the legendary chest, I think it's a really good deal. Uh, it's very, very worth it in my eyes at that point. But if not, or I should say this, I'll finish off that what I was saying. So basically, if you do get the 15 wins, it's not going to show up in your profile as getting 15 wins because they consider this a special challenge, not a, a regular one, if that makes any sense. All right, well, we just need to defend here. I'll put on a defensive mortar for myself because I have my lightning to take his tower when time runs out. And the defensive mortar was not executed properly. <laughs> Jeez, man. Drop's not on point. Can you tell it's my first match of the day? Alright, so we just need to defend. All the archers. Finally, it's going for that. Interesting. About time. Well, we got the last second victory. <laughs> that was a little bit tougher than it had to be. I wasn't making optimal plays. Sorry, guys. If you, if you notice a little bad head or whatever, I just woke up today. So, hey, hopefully this legendary chest, we get some... Another Ram Rider, please? 
Ah, uh, so two out of three. We get a thousand star points with it. So it's like, I love the star points now that like, it's not a waste opening up a chest, if that makes sense. So I'm getting some other tips here. Like right here, the rocket is good. But if I get the Ram Rider, I want a faster cycle because you're, you're still trying to play it like a Hog Rider strategy. It's going to go towards the tower. So I'm going this. If we get Execution or Ram Rider, that'd be crazy. Oh, this is a tough choice. I'm taking the Royal Hogs here. I'm going to take the Zappies because... <laughs> I don't know. I gave him the poison, so he's not going to have a great counter for my Zappies. He can rocket them. If I had the Ram Rider, it would be kind of crazy. You know what would be crazy? Hog, Royal Hogs, Hog Rider, Ram Rider. It's all the, 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 like the troops that go for the buildings. Well, it's not all of the troops that just go for the buildings, but basically, kind of, well, we got the two riders and then the one thing that is being ridden, kind of. It's not in this sense, so I should have, I should have anticipated that. I was hoping he didn't have that in the opening hand. Do I be aggressive? We'll see what he has. We'll be aggressive with the Leap Barbarians. We'll be the Elite Barbarian Rush Noob here. And it does get countered by some guards. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll sit back. I don't want to throw the Royal Hogs just yet until I know exactly what he has. Plus, I could I could be getting caught in, like, in a bad spot if the Ram Rider comes out not having anything to really deal with it. So, Zappy's up front just to slow her to get to the tower and to stop her. And now... We can go in with the Royal Hogs. I'm not split pushing here. Normally you want to. This may be a mistake. We'll go for it here. Come on. It's dropping the guards in there too. All right. Well, I like our chances because now that kind of leaves us a wide open Elite Barbarian Rush. But I have to defend the balloon this time. Okay. This time, I don't think our Executioner is going to get rocketed. It's a little bit too far, but we, are, we might take one hit. Yep, oh, that sucks. Had to be careful though, because if he rockets my executioner, I didn't even have enough time, anyways. Ooh. Well, we'll let that take care of that. We'll throw on the elite barbarians behind him, so they can run away from his death damage. And then we're gonna split put the split push the royal hogs here. Sadly, bats are still a thing at the moment, but getting some decent damage done. Is this Ram Rider time here? No. Okay. Um. Ram Rider in the back. I'm not going to give him a whole lot of value. It's going to be a nasty push. This is probably going to be value for him right here. This is most likely going to be my tower. Alright, so we'll poison this. Come on, I need to push through. 21 seconds left. Royal Hogs, go! Royal Hogs, you are my savior here. Uh, they should get by the Royal. Let's see, he could have rocketed them to save them, but he threw down that instead, which is good for us. Not too worried about the balloon at the moment. I am worried about this giant skeleton. Okay. I'm just trying not to give him value with his rocket. So I have to be very, very careful with that because if he gets enough damage with his Ram Rider on my tower, we're not going to be in a good spot. Walk, 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 walk. Oh, he, that clutch. Do you guys see that? He literally walked, took one step. We're going in. Everything. Everything we got. Come on. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> that executioner taking that half step forward literally saved us there. So good game, well played. We were able to counter the Ram Rider this time. Like I'm glad we didn't take the rocket. Honestly, if we had, if we would have taken the rocket, I'm pretty sure we would have lost that. Our battle deck would have been way too heavy. So we're 14 and one, one reset so far. Mmm. These are both good. I'm going to take the Fire Spirits because I don't want it to be last. Like, this is an easy choice here. Ram Rider for sure. Uh, That one's a little tougher. I'll take that. Ooh. Guys, this is the hardest choice I'm ever going to make. But I think the Royal Recruits are very good now. Uh, that's another card I'm seeing a lot in this challenge. 
and they're a solid win condition. So I like them over the P.E.K.K.A. because basically if I save my Royal Recruits until I'm facing the P.E.K.K.A., I'm going to have the counter. But at the same time, the P.E.K.K.A. is going to shut down my Ram Rider, but if I would have given Royal Recruits, it would have been the same problem. We got cannon card as well. Man, we got a, we got a pretty solid battle that going in right here. I just don't want to give him a whole lot of value with the P.E.K.K.A. I'm just going to throw these down right now. I'm going to assume... I go to save them if I would have given him Royal Recruits, but I'm just going to assume that maybe he doesn't have a whole lot of great things for it. Okay. Was that worth it? I don't really... I don't know. We'll think about it on that one. Stopping on the Dark Goblin and... Oh, I wish he drops that behind. It was just in range there. Okay. If he would have threw his P.E.K.K.A. like a tile up, would have been a better spot. Alright, so I wish I had my Royal Recruits here. Don't know why I decided to throw on the Musketeer. One second. The reason why you may have heard Chloe barking, because Carla just got home, for those of you that are curious. And maybe that's why I missed dropped or did a bad drop there, because I got a little distracted. Don't want to make an excuse, but it might be why. I threw it on the muskets here instead of row recruits in that scenario. Okay, so we're tower down. We have a good solid battle deck. We really do. It's just we need to push and win here. Um Okay, we'll let that go. Push the other lane. Now that P.E.K.K.A. is a bad drop. It would have been if he didn't get another hit on the Ram Rider. Dang it, man. Alright, so for this one... We have the Royal Recruits here to slow down his push. But I have to keep an eye on the clock. And that that Dark Goblin is hitting my tower. I'm going to take those P.E.K.K.A. hits. Actually, no, my, I guess my... I didn't think he was going to go for that. Have to fireball the wizard. Come on, Ram. You see the hit it. Oh my gosh, it didn't get the hit. Will I get my fireball in time? I don't think so. Oh my gosh, guys. We had the better battle back there. It was the one misplay where I didn't throw it on my Royal Recruits. Oh, it's okay. We have one more chance. I think I'm going to take the Electra Wizard here. He's going to have a nasty ground troops. I'm going to take it. Hopefully I get a good card like a tank. I don't really have like... Well, I mean, I want a fast recycle, so I guess I maybe should have took the Ice Spirit. But I need that skeleton army for the lumberjack probably. Oh, we got a giant skeleton. That might be helpful. But if he has given me the giant skeleton, that makes me wonder. What is the card that he took? Did he take Pekka? Did he take... Uh, I don't know. Is it the giant goblin? Tough choice, but I have the double wizards. So I can make a pretty solid push behind my giant skeleton. Got Baby Dragon as well. I like my cards a lot. It's not like I don't have good cards. Or it's not... It's like a... It's a better scenario to have, like, crappy cards. Or this is a better scenario to have crappy cards than the other... Whatever or whatever the other alternative would be. So we're going to actually bounce him up a little bit so I can start hitting him faster. And then hopefully that Giant Skeleton... Ugh, didn't get there. Come on. Yes. It took care of him. Still did get the hit, but I don't know. That was five elixir done right there, but he did waste a wizard on it too. Oh, uh, guess we'll, we don't want that tower damage. We don't want it to go down to a chip tower game, or if it is going down to a chip tower game, we want to be the leader on that. Okay, so a little skeleton army here. I haven't seen a zap or a log yet, so that's a good sign. What, what was the option? Giant Skeleton or what? I'm 
very curious to see, like, like, what was the choice? I haven't seen his win condition yet. Like I said, we're trying to save the tower. Okay. That's gonna get to the tower if he doesn't drop anything else. Okay. Easy. It's the Pekka. Okay, that's pretty solid. But we are gonna get nice damage done there. Oh, this is tough. I don't know. Hard to say if that was worth. Go Giant Skeleton. We're going in with the Ram Rider here. I'm going to Fireball that Wizard again. Nice. Tower down. We have a reliable way to get to the tower. That's where the... Ooh, and we got value with the Death Bomb. Oh my gosh. The panic is real right now. Oops. That was like a split second late. Good thing I didn't let him get that chip tower damage early. Keep the pressure on. Just like he has something. I don't think he will, but let's go. So good game. Well played. Spam the roll goes. We'll hand up some pancakes too. Alright, so we got 15 wins and we get the ram emote now. Let's get it. Collect it. Complete. Add this to the battle deck. Where'd you go? There you are. Oh, uh, we'll take out that one. <laughs> nice. Just eating some grass. If it was yellow, I would say it was hay, but eating something. Nice. So, what do you guys think of the challenge? What do you guys think of the Ram Rider? I would say majority of the time you want to take her. It's a good, reliable source to get tower damage a lot of times. You can get her there. Unfortunately, sometimes, like, I think it was my, was it my first loss that I had? The Ram Rider gets shut down by the P.E.K.K.A. if played right. But that game, I faced the P.E.K.K.A. again, we did okay. So, it just depends, but thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know how you guys did in the challenge. I would say majority of times, take her. Majority of the times, you want to take the P.E.K.K.A., I feel like. I, I should have won that match if I, if I had the Royal Recruits. I shouldn't have lost that. But the two times that I say take the P.E.K.K.A., and I actually beat the P.E.K.K.A., or, or I should have beat the P.E.K.K.A. one time, but I beat the P.E.K.K.A. in the 15 wins. <sighs> I'd say just take the, com the cards you're most comfortable with, but good mix of both. But let me know what you guys think. Stay tuned. I will be probably buying these soon. Got make a lightning chest for our she unlocked. Is she we'll go by rarity. Descending rarity. There we go. We have only three of her, so gotta clutch up with that. Get a bunch more. But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more awesome Clash Royale videos, and I'll see you guys later.